First and chance, almost usually reaction. This is Pro GeoGuessr. Player uses an eye tracker by the channel Rainbolt. Basically, this is a GeoGuessr video, and this guy apparently is the best of the best. Yeah, I saw the video about uh, how, you know, first of all, the, the, do Americans know their history? And in one of the end cards, there was also a video about one guy guessing places. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I didn't know what that was. And people told me in the comments, it's something like game type of thing, right? GeoGuessr is literally a game. Where they show you a map or something, a photo or something, you're supposed to guess where it's from, right? And this guy's apparently best at it. Like, look, uh, you know, you you could see something and find a pattern and can guess, right? But some of the images, is like there, there was an American, uh, you know, I guess he was in Washington State. There was a, you know, a place that was shown in uh, the video that I'm talking about. Right, showing the people, I could, I, you know, I, I made a guess that maybe American, but even then I wasn't sure it could have been European as well. So I can see how many people get this wrong, but apparently this guy is really good at it. Right, he can just see something and just know it. So it's gonna be fun watching it. That's what you do. Remember, if you like my Rickson, no phone like subscribe. So I know which type of videos to do tomorrow. Check out the Rickson Day. There's a link in the description. And yeah, that's what you do. I bought an eye tracker that tracks every single thing I look at while I'm playing GeoGuessr. I'm gonna do a couple of no moving games and then I'll do some speed runs and then top the video off with some 0.1 second games. So it should be fun and I hope you enjoy. Let's just start off with some speed runs and you guys can just watch how I speed run games as I- Okay. Um, and I'm like, just speed running, just see what speed I'm looking at. Um, might be a little helpful to see kind of where my eyes go and things like that. What I use to make educated guesses here. It looks like the Christchurch hedges. Turkey bollards, turkey landscape. What the fuck? Infils Slow down, man. <laughs> he says it's Malaysia. Based on what? Green. This could be Borneo. It was Borneo. Sarawak. Um, so not too bad start there. We'll take it. Just Kenya snorkel. Uh, Indonesia. You guess was sent from the correct locus. Oh, so he doesn't really get it always. But this is like, there's no difference at, at this point, right? Calling the time of Sulawesi. Makes sense. What is this, Romania? Yeah, it's just Romania here. Um, Man, that's just run away. I don't even know if you were right or not. It's Romania here. Your guess was 185. Holy shit, it's close to what he said. Look at that. Um, after this, I'll do some more explained guesses here. Um, but yeah, South Korea there. This looks like it's gonna be just Mexico. I guess he's just doing this um, first, first one. one. How the uh, fuck is supposed to know? What? Netherlands. How did he saw trees and just Austria. know it's the Finland? Oh, I guess the trees could have been, yeah, okay. Brazil, right near Sao Paulo. Yep. Um, looks like Southern Arge, somewhere down here. Can be chilly. Well, I'll take that. You kidding now me? I'll try just doing some no move, and I'll explain more of my guesses here. Um, immediately have a yellow sign here, which is found in like Slovenia, Croatia, Monty, um, and we have this bollard, which is uh, also found in those countries. Um, we also have a rift, which you know narrows down three to Montenegro. Um, usually, rifts are more in the north. Um, driving left, um, license plates, banners here, architecture, all leads to. Um, Indonesia, we have a black gen for a car driving left. Um, Indonesian license plates. Yeah. Um, general feel. He's like overall. Oh, Meliani, yeah, it could be. Overall, these like banners I think are super common in Indonesia. Um, so I'll go Sumatra here. It was just born yet. I was. Yeah, or Kalimantan. <laughs> um, Locam is Switzerland. Um, so this is a privacy thing, and you can see like the wide blur on the bottom is very common in Switzerland and Japan. Also, you get it sometimes in Taiwan. We have a yellow back plate here, which is helpful. And then we have a yellow front plate, which tells- What did he say? A road is blurred, what? Um, so, I'll go Sumatra here. It was just Borneo, or Kalimantan. Um, Locam is Switzerland. Um, so this is a privacy thing, and you can see like the wide blur on the bottom. It is very common in Switzerland and Japan. Wait a minute, so what does, why is road blurred out? What does that do with piracy, uh, you know, privacy? Also, you get it sometimes in Taiwan. We have a yellow back plate here, which is helpful. And then we have a yellow front plate, which tells me Netherlands with this architecture. Um, next round here, we have a long antenna. 
these mountains, everything here screams Iceland here. What the fuck? How is um, it doing that? It's like very boxy architecture. Um, yeah. There's PSD I mean, on this. <laughs> it's pretty distinct. You get these symptoms in Faroe Islands, kind of it's like same formation of mountains, but the car is different, so you kind of have to be in Iceland here. And we got what else we got. <laughs> Damn. He has PhD or something in, you know, anything geological type of thing like this. This is ridiculous. I mean, he just like, yeah, you know, his guesses are way too accurate, right? I mean, first he just zooms in just like, oh, it was 800 kilometers away from like, man, 800, that's a lot of distance. Then it zooms out. No, it's fucking the same place, right? It's same country. Yeah. Um, this is a Brazil, back of Brazil car. Um, double yellow inner lines, white outer lines. Some fences, pretty dry. Makes me want to go somewhat northeast here. Um... Yeah, the back of the Brazil car, you get like this kind of white blur. Um, it's more west, but that's fine. Yeah, Here, look at like we're on. like Colombia, Brazil again. We have a Colombian cross. Um, so this cross on the back is Colombian. This looks like um, we have a black car, which means Argentina, Uruguay, or um, Peru. But immediately, this looks nothing like Peru. It's going to be Argentina, Uruguay. And then notice we don't have a black dot on the license plate here, which means we're going to be in Uruguay. Because uh, Argentina has a black dot on their license in the center Come of the license man. plate. How um, does he know this shit? Yellow outer line here. Um, very, very common in Israel. Yellow outer lines are found in like Israel, Jordan, um, but with yellow. Um, other countries as well, but with the yellow plate, that's going to be. This is an interesting one. Um, How are you going to know this? Car. Black car usually means um, Peru, Argentina, Uruguay. It also can mean like Malaysia. Um, but this looks more like Peru than anything to me, I think. Um, kind of looking around here. Look, the car Loki looks like it's driving left, but I think that's just a, uh, a um, maybe just a one way. So I'll go somewhere like on the eastern side of Peru here, maybe more north. Um, yeah, what's just up there, more north. He's... First of all, he recognizes the cars that takes the photo, right? So he recognizes like, you know, that's, a, what is that, you know, Google Maps thing or something? So he knows the, which type of cars, which type of color cars took this photo in which country. He remembers that shit. He, he recognizes the crosses behind certain signs must be from this place. Which side of the dirt road they are riding, he, he's using that to assume like which part of the country it is. And it's fucking very close. He's always like northern type of Peru and he was that. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. So using the car there to your advantage is helpful. Um, looks like we have Turkish bollards, Turkey signs. Um, uh. This language is very Turkish with the U. Um, Australia has the same bollards, but Australia drives left. Um, and overall, it's like very green and luscious, which makes me think it's going to be more north near the coastline here. And it was... <laughs> Okay, oh, hell. We'll take that next round. Um, so immediately we have these Mexico poles. Um, it's like octagonal. Um, and we also have these like brick walls or like these stone walls, which are very common in uh, Yucatan region of Mexico. Um, also, this truck is just very, it's very common in Mexico. Um, but with these like brick walls or these cobblestone, the walls in general, uh, very very common in Yucatan. Was oh, Yucatan there? No man, just okay. In my life, I have never seen somebody like this. He's way too accurate, man, and using the details, like Sherlock Holmes shit. I don't know. Maybe somebody watching this reaction and just who's good at this, like, what you talking about? This is easy, but I, I don't see it that way. Right? This is holy shit. This is ridiculous. I mean, he's just seeing small things, things that I guess most people would not even know of, and he just knows them. And. <laughs> He must have PhD or something in this because otherwise, I mean, he looks young. I mean, in here for he looks young. He's not like some guy who's traveled the world and knows small shit here and there. This is New Zealand. Um, we have New Zealand poles here um, with the possum guard, very green. Um, overall, we have New Zealand bollard here, bollard here which helps. Um, we're driving left. You can tell that because the sign is facing left here. Um, and overall, very big mountains. I usually just go South Island here. Um, mm. So. I'll make an educated guess somewhere, maybe over here near Nelson. Uh, it was near Queenstown, down there, more south. 
um, driving left here, we have this tall grass with a white car driving left. And these like very uh, collective trees are very common in Eswatini. Um, this grass is commonly called the Eswatini grass where it's like very um, tall and um, same color. Um, and you get those trees more Western, so. Kidding me right now. This is an interesting one. Definitely gonna be like Indonesia or Malaysia here. I actually might get this wrong, to be honest. Um, it's one of the two. Kind of looks the same to me, to be honest. Could be India, um, I don't know. This looks maybe more Indonesian to me though. Um, this this banner here, this like sign. Same with this kind of architecture. It feels more maybe Sumatra region. region. Not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, it doesn't really feel like mainland Malay, which would have to be with a high quality camera here. It looks like we might have a black Gen 4 car as well. So I'll go somewhere in Indo here. It was just huh. central Java, but Look at that. nothing too bad. We'll take that. Yeah, I would see that. I'm like, holy shit, that looks like somewhat South India because I've seen that place is kind of like there is very little detail and he just picks shit up like, holy shit. Let's just do one more. Um, we have Gen 2, which is only found. Gen 2 is this like kind of lesser quality camera. You get the wide blur on top and you get the, the wide blur on bottom. Um, with short plates and, and Spanish, you have to be in Mexico with a Gen 2. Mm. All very helpful. And that was just Tijuana. Makes sense. Um, next round here, we have an antenna. Uh, blue serpent license plate means we're going to be in the EU. Okay. Um, language here that isn't too, too familiar with me. Um, if that's a sticker in the back, I'm more inclined to go like a... Uh, actually, that wouldn't really make any sense. Oh, we have a rift. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so rift here inclines Monty or Albania, but we have one single blue strip, if I believe. Wait a minute, rift? What does that rift have to do with anything? Where that information comes from? Where there are certain places where these cameras can pick up the rift or something? Um, Albania would either have a red strip or it's double blue. So I'm more inclined to go Monty here. Even though it kind of does look like Albania, I have to trust the, that this is a single blue strip. So I'll go, go Northern Monty. What is this Northern Monty? Oh, damn. This is fun. It looks like we're driving left immediately. We have a language here that looks English, um, which inclined that we're going to be in the UK here. I can't, I can't see backplates. Huh. Usually in uh, the UK, you'll get yellow backplates, which you don't see in Ireland. But uh, which side they're driving? Um, maybe up here. No, we don't have anything up there. Um, don't know my area codes either. But the sign is in this direction. So on the driving on right side, if that's the case, how is that UK? But yeah, um, very common you get these like tall hedges on the side of the road too in the UK and Ireland. Um, but driving left with English would indicate the UK or Ireland. Um, Wait a minute, don't they drive on left side in UK? Right? That's why we drive on left side to begin with in India. So how was that? I don't know. We have a sign that ends in TIE, that's Finnish. Um, and overall, just very, um, the birch. Um, kind of feels more north to me to be honest. Region guessing in Finland is kind of tough for me, but um, especially with like these these like green Scandinavian houses or green yeah uh, red Scandinavian houses. Uh, okay. It was north, and then let's do final one here. We have the Tunisia Argentina. Follow car. It's more light in color, which is usually found north. So um, I think it's in from like Tunis or Tunis to um, I think Monas Monastir, um, but usually found more north, sub so capital here. Damn, that's fucking capital, a good. So. Yeah, I just say Argentina because I remember Grand Tour episode kind of looks similar to that, but there you go. Not bad. Let's try so I can only see the image for 0.1 seconds. Okay. And see how I fare now with uh, with this big turkey there. Nice. But Sri Lanka. Nice. <laughs> Indonesia. Nice. Brazil. Okay, what? How is he doing this this fast? Norway. Nice. Five for five. We'll take it. Let's do one more. See how I do. Uh, it looks like Borneo. How is it doing that fast? It's barely okay. looking at the image. I mean, it still was Malaya. This looks like Brazil. Maybe somewhat southish. Um, yeah, it was more south. Kenya snorkel. Pretty standard there. I like Mexico. That's Australia. So let's see if I remember anything. Those guardrails, it did feel kind of like in this region. It wasn't in SW. Not too bad. 
All right, we're gonna call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that helped. If you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know. I could be, I could go in more depth on maybe. How, how was he doing that last one? He was literally looking at a less than a second an image, and he just knows where it's from. I've never seen anyone like this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Somebody having this kind of reflexes, this kind of response and knowing geography at this fucking level? God damn. I mean, look, if I, if I were to do this, right, I would do fine, right? I like to think I'm intellectual enough that I would do fine. But this is just like, what is he, a fucking robot? How is he doing this? <sighs> damn. This is fucking ridiculous. I did not see any of this coming, but god damn. I, I knew people told me that this is like, you know, it's really good. Rain bolt, right? But I didn't know he was this level of good. Is there anybody even close to this? Do anybody even know anyone that is close to this? He just saw like, look at those tall grasses. This tall grasses. This must be from this country, and it was that. Every single guess is barely a bit gap away from his guess. <sighs> Damn. Probably well, that was pro geo guesser. A player uses an eye tracker by the channel Rain Bolt. He is the He's not just pro, he's the GeoGuessr, I guess. If you like what you for, like, subscribe. And yeah, I think I'm going to do one or two GeoGuessr videos on this channel. I'll just try it. I'm sure I'm going to do fine, hopefully. But yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll see you next time.